Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Seekers of the Sea, our new little lost nicheling tribe who has been separated from their old tribe, as befalls the fate of many of my tribes as I realize this. It's, it's kind of terrifying how my nicheling universe seems to be full of so many storms, and again, it's going to be very fun to see if we potentially run into some sort of god of storms in the future. But for now, my friends, we are resuming right where we left off with young orphaned Skipjack having just arrived and showing up to come and visit with us. He is a young orphan who has been raised by the stag moles that Kai, our goddess touched nicheling, or I should say our ancestor touched nicheling perhaps. It is the goddess Doli, uh, who I suppose she was kind of just like a seer of the sea so long ago, but I could see how she would now be one with our nicheling pantheon. But Kai has been touched by Doli and is searching along the waterways for those shells that will actually tell her more about her people, the fate that they should follow. When she ran into the stagmals, who are just as spotted as she is, and met little Skipjack, who I am so excited to see. He has spent most of his life until now now speaking only the language of the stag moles too so this is very unusual for him to try to speak with other nichelings and i can only imagine that most of his voice is just a bunch of chattering so he just chatters like non-stop uh to the others in stag mole hopefully kai will be able to teach him how to speak nicheling as time goes on but it is a very interesting addition having an orphan arrive in our tribe right after old man trumpet who really you know what at least he died with a full belly and a rock against his back so he got to relax he has just passed away and so it really was a wonderful thing to have a new young nicheling join us so that we didn't have to dwell on the tragedy of losing one of the uh the like old tribe members one of the elders amongst us and meanwhile, the twins have grown up. Nari has discovered that he absolutely loves the taste of the slimy leeches that swim in the sea. Naru has actually been more significantly affected by the passing of Trumpet than any of the other nichelings in the area. They all seem to kind of take the old man's unfortunate, but also kind of fortunate since he died of old age, and what better way could a nicheling go, at least until they add in some sort of a of youth that would be really cool to have for our tribe hmm we might need to i wonder wouldn't that be a cool twist oh <gasps> we find the seers of the sea and then perhaps they could take us to a hot spring that has the elixir of youth within it i know there's a cheat that can reset the age that your nichelings at so we'll need to uh gently tuck that idea away for later my friends <clears throat> but anyway little naru out of everyone in our current Seekers of the Sea tribe, who we will call the Sea Seekers for short, is the one most affected by Trumpet's passing. And I think that he feels that Trumpet was the only one in the entire group who seemed to be quite concerned about making sure that the food stores were always abundantly full. And who will take up that place now that Trumpet is gone? And so I think Naru is actually concerned Ahem, pardon me, my friends. I am still learning how to speak again after being gone for so long. I was extremely quiet. Side note, your Siri is very extremely shy and introverted in real life. I'm getting over the shy part. Shy means that you're kind of embarrassed all the time and ashamed for no reason. So it's better to say that I'm just very quiet and introverted. Uh, but I didn't really talk for like two and a half weeks much, even with my family, because I'm so, uh, quiet. <laughs> So I apologize if my voice seems to go in and out as I get used to speaking again, but ahem. <clears throat> that aside, Naru is going to take up the position of guarding the food store since everybody else is distracted with other things. Skipjack with chattering as moles, Nari with eating leeches, Kai with trying to listen to the whispers that seem like a gentle voice to her on the tide, and Sopri 
uh, Shopney even, who is extremely enamored with the oh-so-handsome and strong Ba Wave, who is currently exploring the waterways, trying to discover what is around these many beautiful islands of our archipelago which I had never visited before, and I'm very much in love with it. It may be very hard to convince me to leave this place, but eventually we may, because the more genes we can unlock, the stronger our nicheling powers will become. The stronger this particular patron god and goddess, the, the, the patron gods of this tribe will be. That's what I am thinking we will work forward on all of our nicheling tribes, just for the record. The more of the mutations we unlock, We'll say that's the stronger that the patron gods of this particular tribe have become. And all of our different nicheling tribes are really beginning to have their own patron gods. The fruitlings and fruitlings have the moon mother. And with our phoenixes, they actually kind of are working their way up to phoenixes. They also have um, Malfic, who is our son of Tata. They've actually had Tata, Lala, and Malfic uh, all show up, uh, which has been quite interesting. So gosh, I need to pull up the amazing like wiki that we actually have and make sure I can check my own nicheling pantheon. We have so many gods and goddesses and heroes amongst their ranks now, but I like that idea, so we'll consider how full the mutation menu to be a direct relation to how strong the blessings and the powers of the nicheling patron gods who watch over a tribe are. And right now we haven't unlocked any of them, but Ba Wave, with his extreme strength and his love of swimming and his underwater breathing abilities, where are the gills? Gills, gills, gills. Gills, Ram, where are the gills? Purse, snout, poison fangs, cracker, gills. But yes, there we go. Okay, so 50 swims. Yeah, Ball Wave will probably unlock gills and he'll probably unlock um, water body and who even knows what else for us in like record time. Is he gonna unlock, he's gonna unlock swimming like webbed hind legs. Ball Wave is basically going to make half of our, our job here so much easier. I think he's even probably going to unlock like tail fin at this rate and he's probably even going to unlock fishing tail at this rate so unknowns to him ba wave is no doubt about to be the hero of this tribe and really unlock the powers that their patron gods the ancient ancestor gods of the seers of the sea need in order to give blessings to this tribe and hopefully unlock the uh, let's see, webbed hind legs and fishing tail and swimming abilities that we want to have for them. So that's really kind of cool. It's kind of like the patron gods are watching over Ba Wave and, and as he's just going about doing his own thing, they're getting strength from him. So he might end up being a hero in his own right. That's really cool. No wonder Shopri just can't get enough of him. But all right, my friends, let's go ahead and move on. <gasps> Kai! You just grew up into an adult! You're so lovely, my dear! Oh my gosh, look at her! Look at her! And we'll go ahead and put down the white gemstone to mark her as one of those touched by the powers of the seer gods. Uh, and also, oh, it's a seashell! It is a seashell! Okay, we've got to open this. I think that Nari might kind of call out and be like, what the heck is this? Like, he could open it. He actually, unbeknownst to him, because he has two out of the mini traits we're going for for the priest and priestess line, uh, he actually is indeed touched by Doli as well, but he is less interested in listening with those gigantic ears of his to the call of the sea, and far more interested in eating delicious slimy slugs and leeches. And this is not a slug and it's not a leech, but it's in the way of him digging up some of the delicious sea worms. So we'll have Kai come down. Oh, and there's another seashell. All right, let's do it. We're gonna have Kai come down, and I think as our very first nicheling, well, Nari did find it. So who should get the very first, like, blessing from the ancestors? We don't have a lot of mutations yet. Hmm. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of mutations yet. But I think Nari found it. 
So we'll go ahead and roll for Nari. And I explained how the rolls are going to work in the rules. So you can look in the video description to find a link to that. They're very simple right now. We will expand them as time goes on. But if you're ever curious about the guidelines, just look in the video description and I will update as we change things the Word document that I created so that you guys can follow along with our rules. So let's do this. All right, Kai's gonna come on down. Even though she is distracted with the young orphan Skipjack, uh, who, he does have fishing tail, and he does have complimentary jeans, which is very important. Um, and actually, I wonder if Shopri might be interested when he's older. We'll have to see. She strikes me as somebody who could either be completely in love with Ball Wave or could be easily distracted by the most amazing male in the area. But not the twins. She grew up with them. They're like annoying younger brothers. Uh, but all right, so Kai, the very first shell. Oh, this is so important and this is such a significant moment. And I do think we're going to go ahead and let Nari have it. Not every shell we open has to be one with prophecy, but yeah. All right, let's try this. Let's see, like until we unlock things, this isn't going to be the greatest, but there we go. So, Nari has gone ahead and she has opened this shell and found not only within it food, but also a special stone. She feels it glowing within her paws. It is like the ocean is truly speaking to her, although everyone else just hears the gentle waves, she can hear the deep sounds of the ocean, the call of the large whale islands, the clacking of all of the crabbits and their claws. She can hear the strong, powerful waves that move across the waters, the sound of gentle rain falling, all of that at once as she picks up this special gemstone. And although it's still faint, and although the power of the gods is still quite weak, she hears them speak out and give her a vision for Nari. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. Ah, it fell down. Oh no, Nari! He got a 2-1, uh, which means the 2 means that it is a vision of Nari's internal, internal self. Um, which means things to do with like eyesight, we're gonna say, uh, and things to do with like fertility, unfortunately. <laughs> so those kinds of traits, things to do with like hemophilia, eyesight, fertility. Uh, and then he rolled a one, which means we basically need to pick the worst of the, uh, the traits. Like I might have to make a list of things that will say count for interior strength on our nichelings, but I think with little Nari, I mean, he might get hemophilia, he might get fertility issues, uh, but unfortunately the gods are sending a warning, warning that little Nari, and I'm just going to roll another dice to see which one I should pick. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Well, actually he'd be one, two. Shouldn't it be no horns? I feel like that might be an external thing to have the horns or not, um, but he did unfortunately roll a bad one. So I, this really is in my picking, actually. I get to pick if he gets, I guess it would, because he rolled a one that's as bad as it can get. So he either gets blind eyes or infertility or hemophilia. And if I'm honest with myself, blind eyes or infertility are actually like the worst. So he rolled something so bad, my little friend. He already has hemophilia and he has really high fertility. I think it's gonna be, that he might have a hard time finding okay i'm gonna give him the infertile one even though i don't want to because he, that is his role the gods are trying to send a warning and i think the warning is actually related to the children that may be upon this island the the nichling gods whisper across the winds and waves and they send a vision to kai that it may be very difficult for Nari to ever have children of his own, as the tribe is lost, lost out on these islands, and will he ever be able to find love himself? Will he ever be able to, to see a prosperous line grow? So he has been sent a warning, and he has been given the infertility. <laughs> okay, hopefully things will look up in the future, uh, but that is an interesting so yeah we'll we'll just look at each of the mutations that they can get 
as special visions that they can receive as either warnings or blessings of the future. And I think the way that Kai has been struck, the way she gasps and holds out this perhaps fractured shell, this, this fractured gemstone, because he actually can see, uh, he can also get visions now that Kai has introduced him to the idea. I don't think that Nari will have a gemstone change because I need to remember who actually has the priest and priestess line. But I think that this would humble him a lot. Here he is just trying to be playful and eat leeches. And Kai cries out and describes uh, a future where there's just an odd blue glow about her as she stares at this gemstone and she says she sees within that Nari may have a difficult time seeing his line prosper upon the land because there are not enough nichelings, which is true. We only have two females. So I think that that would kind of startle him, but he is also very young and that would make him more thoughtful. Perhaps he wishes to pick a mate early in life. Perhaps this is a warning from the Nishling gods to cherish each and every one of the children and grandchildren that he could have. He himself, after all, has high fertility, so he'd have a bazillion and a half kids. But his offspring may struggle to have children of their own and struggle to prosper on this land. So this would give Nari something very important to think about. The future. Something that a young Nishling like him has never really had to ponder. So we'll leave him with those serious thoughts and we'll leave Kai with feeling somewhat exhausted from her ordeal. I mean, that was the first time that she has ever read a future blessing or warning for a Nishling. And I want to start opening up more of these mutations uh, ASAP or else we're going to be stuck with all sorts of not great genes. Um, good news is if we roll anything three, four, or five, or six, uh, they would be much better outcomes. But we don't really have better outcomes right now. So I could either ignore it and roll again uh, if it's like a really good outcome or just like get to pick something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm muttering to myself. Let's move on and start unlocking things so that hopefully my poor nichelings won't have to go through that again. Uh, how close are we to nimble fingers, for instance, which we definitely want. Okay, so we definitely want to do a lot more collecting. I think I'm going to send Kai up here and Nari is actually going to help gather a few... Um, a few of the fruit in order to help her kind of recover her stamina and then kind of nervously he might paw at the ocean and, and wonder what oh he got some delicious worms though he might wonder what other mysteries are lurking in these waves just waiting for him and i think this would have very much startled naru uh who had no idea that something like that could happen to his twin and i think that he would instinctively want to make sure that everything's going to be all right if Kai got this weird vision that everyone's a little freaked out about, that Nari, his own twin brother, may have a difficult time seeing his future line, his children and grandchildren, who they have never had to think about before, being so young, prosper, I think that's going to make Naru step up and he's going to do his best to see that that future does not unfold. So we're going to have him jump up and he's actually going to do a little bit of digging and start smelling out some roots. I thought I saw another wandering nicheling for a second. I was going to be like, what the heck, a noodle? Uh, and meanwhile, I think Skipjack's just going to run around in circles around the moles, kind of chattering in mole, and very excited to see that Naru can dig. I think that he would attach himself like a young little stickaburr to the older nicheling. And Shatri, meanwhile, is still waiting for the amazing Ba Wave to come back up out of. Oh, there's so many noodle doodle worms down here. To come back up out of the ocean where he has disappeared to. And oh, yeah, wow, holy cow. Yeah, Bawave is going to be gathering some of these beautiful emerald pieces of seaweed because he, he you know, he knows that Shafri is interested. Uh, and we'll let Shafri gather some food. I think that she's a little bit of a nervous eater, so she does appreciate having a little bit of food to eat. But we'll also let her kind of walk along the waters, trying to figure out where Bawave will come out of. Goodness me. Yeah, we need to unlock some genes. Heck, heck, if I want to be able to make this all happen. Oh, we're under attack. Ball wave is under attack by leeches. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ugh. All right, so we managed to get two leeches, which is good. Uh, and I think that that will annoy a ball wave, especially with the Razorina lurking nearby. Just waiting. Oh, but there's a bunch of fish in here. Do you guys see that? Dive in. 
Okay, I don't think he could help himself. He would just propel himself through the water, eager to gather those fish, for sure. And meanwhile, Shafri, I think I'm gonna let her kind of wander a little bit. She might, you know, just sort of, in a, in the way that a, a whoop, whoop, whoop. <gasps> oh, we're gonna have a happy, happy termite eater in just a second here. But in the way that a, a young Nishli, or a young, a young one in love might write the name of their beloved over and over in the sands. Uh, not that the Nishlings understand, you know, literature or anything like that. Or the way that you might, like, pick off the petals on a poor, innocent daisy, is going, love, uh, does, does, do they love me, do they not, over and over again. I think that Shapri is kind of in enchanted with the idea of potentially having Ba Wave as a mate, and is roaming amongst the grasses, imagining if this piece of grass or that piece would make an excellent nest for their many beautiful babies. So she's busy with that. And... Let's see what else we've got down here. Anything else? Oh, there are some roots. So I think little Skipjack is going to be jumping around, just chittering and so excited to have Naru dig up these roots. I think that Nari is a little bit concerned about all of this hubbubaloo and wants to go see what his twin brother is up to. And then I could have sworn I saw over on this side another shell we do indeed have a another shell should i go ahead and collect it now and let something be decided for kai you know what i feel like it's only fair we're gonna have nari jump down and watch this and we're gonna allow kai because she did have kind of a a warning to give to another nicheling i think she feels a little badly she doesn't want poor nari to be the only one to carry such a burden and so even though she is hesitant even though she is unsure of what her fate may be we're going to allow kai to reach into the waters and take out a shell and now i'm going to fetch my dice where it rolled away from me on the floor and roll it <gasps> Yay! Okay, we actually got a 3-5, which means it's something to do with skills. So I get to give her something very high to do with skills that I want. <laughs> and the thing is, what I want to give her is either, like, well, she already has nimble fingers, but another nimble finger, just to be sure, would be really nice. <laughs> uh, what I would like to give her would be some skill-related thing that would be um, uh, along the lines of swimming. And I guess I could say that, you know, better swimming. Hmm. See, I don't have any genes, but I did get it. And I mean, we could just wait, but I don't think that's right either. I think that we can open up the shells and like not have to read each nicheling's future all the time. But, hmm, but... Man, that's going to be a little hard, because we really don't have much unlocked just yet, do we? But a 3-5 is pretty good. Or 5, yeah, 3-5 is pretty good. So if we had something that would let her have better swimming... Does she have big body? She does, actually! Okay! I don't think big body helps with swimming. I think that actually decreases swimming a little bit. So do I have anything that can give us better swimming? Maybe medium body. I'm going to go ahead and give her medium body. Uh, and hopefully that will help. What does big body do for you? Strength and cold resistance and defense. But it makes you more susceptible to heat. And it means that you can't really fly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give her medium body. Because it's the only thing that I've really got that could help us with getting closer to swimming. But I'm going to have to do a good hard think. Ah, uh, there we go, Kai. I am going to have to do a good hard think about when they find a shell, do we have to d decide, like, a nicheling's fate with it? Um, should I roll another dice and decide? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm... That would be a good question. I think I'll start rolling a dice, and if the dice is odd, then there is no, no gemstone of prophecy inside. And if the dice is even, then there is, and then I might have to just use my instincts to pick which nicheling it would, would get it, but ha, huh. hmm, all right, don't worry, that'll be m things I mutter to myself and figure out as our story progresses, but I actually kind of like it, even if we don't have, and again, this kind of, 
shows that this is only a few days into our journey. This is the first generation, and this will make it even more rewarding as we unlock things. If, as, as right now, we don't really have a lot of control over guiding our nichelings to the future, that seems appropriate because the nichling gods also don't have a lot of power right now. So I actually kind of like the challenge of having to just pick the best of what, or worst, of what I currently have. And then we can really, 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 really celebrate as we unlock other genes as well. So all right, my friends, the first two of the god-touched nichelings on this island, ha or island chain, in this land, in this tribe, have received their messages from the gods. We will have to see as we allow the strong, powerful swimmers like Ba Wave and the thoughtful collectors like Naru to go around and to uh, hopefully collect things that will unlock more strengths for the gods, unknowns to them, what the future of this tribe will be. So alright, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to toss some delicious leeches to Nari. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, then do please consider subscribing. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. Bye-bye!